I'm up early doing some pre-rigging just before I head out in the Hobie. It's still dark. I'm on the Hacking River. I'm going to try one of these uh, Vibalicious 70mm. And uh, I've been hearing some good things about those, so I'm going to give this little guy a bit of, a, bit of a work this morning. Um, along with a few other few other uh, pieces of kit, the TT Rev, Rev heads, sort of thing they call them, with the um, little spinner blade on them. So I've got one of them tied on in the, in the 1 8 jig head tie, so give that a whirl. Alright, that guy looks good. I actually tried one of these yesterday, but got smashed. I think I got, I think I got tailored. Okay, 6.36. There's a bit of light now. I'm going to go and have a fish with the Hobie. Beautiful morning. Wind's dropped off from yesterday. And I'm going to be mostly targeting brim, but there's likely to be a few other species along the way. But let's have a go. See what happens. Then we just drop into a hole here. And we'll have a flick and there's a few pieces of kelp. Oh, that's a fish. And it's a, a blackfish. <laughs> it's not the first, it's not the um, first time I've hooked a blackfish on the slim swims. lift him in it's not a real big one and they do fight really well for their size these fish come here mate there you go they hook right through the side of the gill he might have just had a swipe at it it's actually in his cheek a cute little fish though. Blackfish. Or Ludric. Okay, here he goes. Fish on, he had a bite and he's come back out and had a crack at it. I think it's a Trevally. I could be wrong, but I think it's a Trevor. Yeah. They pull out of these Trevally. <laughs> he's telling me in. Oh, strong fish. He knows he's hooked now. I've only got the pretty light gear on, obviously. Let's get out of this snaggy area oh. <laughs> always go hard yeah silver Let's just pop the net on him Size. 
Yeah, he's just, yeah, he's, he came out, had a swipe, missed, thought it was a brim, turned back around, and then, um, bam, woofed it, woofed it down. Yeah, nice, nice one. a bit of fixing. Yeah, nice silver. Look, it's a yeah, looks like a brim. Should be the first of the morning. Not a thumper. But yeah, definitely a little brim. Should be able to just lift this guy over. Can see a few other of his mates coming out underneath a chetty there. Oh, a lot of a lot of ludric as well. Yeah, it's not too bad. There you go. Just again on the motor oil, two and a half inch. Swim Slim, Slim Swim, yeah that's the one, he was well hooked, there we go, go about, so I've got quite a light head, 1 16th jig head, which I might need to upscale when uh, the tide starts to push a bit harder, yeah, good stuff, alright mate, pop you back in, everywhere busting up it's in about a foot of water got them on a very small so I'm not surprised by this hookup and it's a flatty it, it's, I've come across about four or five in just the last couple of minutes anyway this guy's shaking his head like you can see him in the water there he's fully whopped it down Let's see if I can Put him straight in the net because he's on that leader. There you go, nice little flatty just on the little on the little TT jig head with the spinner. And um, yeah, I've just been seeing so many boils on the sand and uh, had to be flatty so. I'll pop this guy back down, pop him in, and he goes. There we go. Make sure he's hooked well. What is he? Yeah, nice flatty. Oh, it's good clear water. Yeah, 
can see them down there. I'm not sure whether the camera can see in the, the water there, but yeah, the little guy's picked up that, which is pretty cool. So clear this water. Long time since I've fished over here. Always good to see a nice floody striking the plastics. There we go. Nice little fish. Let's move a few things here. Yeah, it's so good too on the on the Hobie links there. Like I guess all the Hobies, they're really stable. So you can do some fishing standing up. And um, one thing I really like about that is if you've been out on the yak for a while, and I've currently been out for four hours, four hours and 42. Um, yeah, it's nice to be able to stand up, stretch your legs, move around. I jumped off the yak before and just had a little bit of a walk on the flats. Yeah, you've got to be really cautious of these gill rakers here. One just got me in the thumb. Yeah, so just a nice little specimen. Be a butte but, but, uh, eating size. Um, you know, legal for sure. But um, I'm going to pop him back in. I'm not on the... I'm not on the menu for a, for a feed today. I'm out in the boat. I'm staying in the in the big boat, and I've got the Hobie tied off off in the back. And uh, so today I've had a bit of a mis mixed species. I've had a silver trevally. I've had a brim. I had a jewfish last night. Two flathead this morning as well. So yeah, nice. And it's just so quiet and beautiful um, out on the hacking. So I'll put this guy back in. Oh, another crack. See if he comes back. Yep. Oh, but it's a brim. How good. <laughs> Yoo-hoo. Happy days. Well, I've got a, um, a brother as a mate who's a gun brim fisher, and he's said to me, yeah, get, get, get onto some of these Vibalicious, the 70 millimeter. And like a soft vibe. Yeah, it's not a thumper. It's all the same. He's come up out of there. I can see a few fish swimming around, which is good. Yeah, he's all right. I'll put him up on there. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he'd be definitely a legal, legal size. Yeah, I see a lot of fish, so I thought I'd just switch it up. Look, it comes off. There you go, pristine little brim. Okay, I'll pop him back in there. little Jew, got about a 5-0 hook with a small P sinker there and um, yeah I was just having a bit of a bit of a look and see, it's a bit more light here, oh yeah, 
There he is. Well, hopefully you'll go back down, buddy. There he goes. Good boy. Yes, I'm just using light spin spin gear with a 10 pound braid and a 10 pound a mono leader, small sinker, 5 0 hook. So I'll uh, pop another one in and see if there's a bigger version. There seems to be that many different jewies, jewfish around at the moment, both in Botany Bay and the Hacking. So. Happy days, always good to see. Wasn't quite sure what that was gonna be. So that's the rig there, we'll pop him back in. Got a little fish on here. What have we got? Silver trolley. Yeah, little silver. He's taking that uh, pilly tail. An unusual catch at uh, 10 o'clock at night. Come here, mate. The old blurter. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll pop him back in. <laughs> Gone. Salmon. God, I wonder what that was pulling. No classic. Pour and rain. Little sandbag. Got a little golden. Little golden spinner on it. But he's just spat up his lunch, this guy. You can see some splashes around and. Um, yeah. Pass dropped to the bottom. He's bound to have a few mates with him. So uh, yeah, we'll get him, get him off, and have another crack. So I've anchored up for the night. <laughs> it's raining. And it's all showering. Just caught a nice little sam salmon on the TT jig head uh, spinner and a one eighth jig head. Yeah, I just saw a bit of, you know, a few splashes on the surface, and thought, ah, oh, what the heck, I'll. I'll give it a go and ah uh, yeah, it was a good little fight, so always worth a try when you see some fish. Yeah, give it a go and you never know what you can come up with. Okay, well it's time again to head out on the Hobie. All ready to go. It's a bit overcast today. I'm gonna hit uh, mostly the boat moorings and pontoons. We're going to head over there to Yowie Bay. So we're going to leave the mothership here and uh, get into the kayak and head off. Okay. Oh, this guy's good. Nearly dusted me. Okay, so that's the first brim. First brim hookup of the morning. It's also my first brim on the on the muss, which I've been hearing so much about. So um, been working pretty hard to to land one. He's not a bad specimen. bring him in. You can see a few of the um, few of the pontoons 
around here have got mussels that look very much like the musk, the black musk. And I've got the 5.8 gram size one on. And um, so I'm thinking like, if there's brim around, surely, surely this is what they're, they're feeding on. There we go. Cool. Yeah, he's not a real fat fella, but he's uh, yeah, he's got that nice muscle treble in his uh, in his cheek there, his mouth. So um, pretty stoked to land one on the mus. I'm like, I was like, well, quietly confident that if there were some brim feeding, that um, they'd have to smash it. So that was the result. I'll pop him back in and go on his way. Almost looks like that. Looks like you were uh, one of the old cannibal. Same colour on the on the lure. Look at that. Little pinkies jumped on that guy. Not quite big enough. Open up, mate. <laughs> open, open, sesame. That's it. Okay, keep growing, buddy. Okay, back to the boat after a pretty quiet morning. I bumped into another guy on his hobby as well. He said he hadn't had a lot of action either, but um, one win was the brim caught on the musk lure, the Bremer baits, 5.8 gram black. So that was good fun. Um, casting on the pontoons that were covered in black mussels. Anyway, I'll get this sorted and uh, see what else is on the cards for the rest of the day. <laughs>